Hello, and welcome to another episode of Boxing with Paul. And today, I bring you the OnePlus N200 5G. OnePlus is an attempt to make 5G even more affordable. Let's take a look at it. Released just last week, this one retails for $239.99, putting it $40 cheaper than Samsung's A32 5G phone. Now, immediately when I was looking at the pictures of this phone, oh, it looks like I think I've already got these. When uh, I was looking at the pictures online of this phone, I was really excited as the color it looks like it's going to be a very, very nice color. Um, and you guys already know that I'm a fan of OnePlus box as the all black design makes it feel like they're in business and also it's just a nicer, higher quality box. So I'm gonna put that aside. The box, we're gonna put aside our phone for last as it's a fairly nice unboxing experience with OnePlus. In the box, we got paperwork as well as a welcome guide. And you guys already know, a very nice SIM injector tool. We also got a bright red USB-A to USB-C cable that will allow for 18 watt fast charging when used with the included wallet adapter, if I can manage to get it out. Here we go, and again, yes, it is rated for nine volts at two amps, so yes, 18 watt charging. It's a little bulky, but it's okay. It comes included in the box. Nice to have nonetheless. Now, the phone itself is actually this beautiful, uh, light yet deep sky blue that OnePlus calls, what was it, what do they call it? OnePlus calls this quantum blue. Uh, and this comes in at around 190 grams. So it is just one gram heavier than the N10. And just like its other two brothers, this phone comes in with a six and a half inch screen. However, unlike the N100, this one boasts the higher 1080 by 2400p resolution, along with the OnePlus's famous 90 hertz screen refresh rate. And I'm gonna have to definitely test it out uh, to see just how good that high screen refresh rate is. I know I didn't do it for the last one, but I would like to uh, play a high intensity game in this and see just how well it handles it. Uh, while we're at it up here, we can see that the selfie camera is up here up on the corner and that is a 16 megapixel lens that allows for a 1080p video. But unlike the N10, this one only gets up to 30 frames per second instead of the 
whole 60 frames per second that the N10 allows. Now inside, we're rocking 64 gigabytes of storage, along with four gigabytes of RAM paired to a Snapdragon 485G uh, with the usual 5G configuration with six of those cores being clocked in at 1.8 gigahertz uh, for those slider uh, day-to-day -day tasks. And then the remaining two cores being clocked in at 2.0 gigahertz for those heavier, more power intensive tasks. And then inside, again, we also have dual band Wi-Fi AC, which is a nice touch, Bluetooth 5.1, NFC for Google Wallet, and of course, a side-mounted fingerprint scanner, which is uh, which also doubles as our power button, and it's also very nice to have. Now, before we go ahead and dive right into the phone itself, let's go ahead and take a tour of the phone. On the very left side of the phone, we have our volume buttons, volume down and volume up, as well as our SD card forward slash SIM card tray that allows for expandable storage. At the very top of the phone, we have a fairly clean look with just a pinhole microphone up here. And then we can barely see it, but technically our speaker grill here at the top also is actually a secondary speaker. It's not just an earpiece. So we're gonna be able to have stereo sound on this device. Now continuing on the right side of the device, we have our power button that also doubles as our fingerprint scanner. And now you guys know that I love and I appreciate the fact that OnePlus has taken into the account the fact that you might get confused and the fact that you might appreciate a power button on the side that is different from your volume buttons. I know I certainly do. Continue at the very bottom of the phone, we have our speaker slots. We have our USB-C port, which is only USB-C 2.0 for charging and data transfer. We have one more pinhole microphone. And finally, a headphone jack, which is a very nice commodity to have today in 2021. Now, at the very back of the phone, we have our triple camera system that is it's actually kind of lackluster. It's fairly similar to the N100s as we have a 13 megapixel main lens followed by a two megapixel macro and a two megapixel depth lens as well as our LED flash. We're gonna have to see just how good or how bad this cam triple camera system is. It looks very nice. It's, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely a fan of the look of this phone, but I'm afraid it's just gonna be uh, more bright than bite, but we're definitely gonna have to see how well that plays out. So once we're inside the phone, it looks like a very beautifully colored screen, very nicely laid out phone. It looks like the phone is fairly clean, actually. YouTube, Play Store, Maps, Photos, Mail, and Chrome, Camera. Wow. And one of the things that I completely forgot to mention earlier was that inside we are rocking a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which should last us all day. And again, with a 5G, it's definitely uh, nice to know that we have, you know, that extra capacity in here. Let's go and check out our iPhone 12 video. Okay, come on, I'm gonna rotate. The cutest iPhone I've ever seen. Wait, what happened to my stereo sound? Why? Why no stereo sound? So either I misread the specs on this or there's some false advertising, our advertisement going on. So this is what YouTube looks like. It's actually pretty crisp. That actually looks pretty good. <laughs> So it sounds and it looks great actually. Um, wow, that looks pretty good. I mean, it's not it's not like an old bit or anything, but it's definitely it's definitely 1080p. It's definitely full HD, right? Um, again, I read online and I read all the specs. It says that it has stereo speakers, and I was fully under the impression that the top part was going to be an air speaker, but I'm not sure if again I misread and both of the speakers are located down here. I mean, it certainly sounds loud enough to have two speakers inside of it. 
Uh, but I was really expecting to have another one up at the top. And no, it's not. Yeah, this one is definitely loud enough to be able to have two speakers in there. Uh, you have to definitely look back on that. But before we continue any further, we're gonna have to test that uh, that processor. I do realize the phone is a little warm right now, but you know that I can't go ahead and finish up the review without running Geekbench 5 for you guys. So let's go ahead and run the CPU benchmark. Again, here's where we confirm the information we covered earlier. We have six of those cores clocked in at 1.8 gigahertz, and then the other two clocked in 2.04. Let's go ahead and run it, and I will be right back with you guys as soon as this is over. Okay guys, and we are back so our geekbench score actually didn't take very long to perform and as you can see we got a whopping 495 on the single score and we got a whopping 483 on the multi-core now that is actually surprisingly good given the fact that i mean i get it's a it's a budget device um but what i just can't get over was that galaxy a20 we rocked at 180 on the single core so we are we're, we're way way past that and uh, we're actually doing pretty good let's go ahead and look at our individual scores let's see uh, how we compare against something like a Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra. You see they scored a 960 versus our 495. Not bad, you know, about twice as much. Galaxy S21, also 926. Uh, the Note 20 Ultra came in at 894. Let's see, what are we more like? We're more like a Samsung Galaxy A71. So that's actually pretty good, compar pretty comparable to this. I'm surprised the A52 is not up here, but we're definitely way above uh, Note 7, a Pocophone F1, uh, n the Redmi Note 8 Pro. So we're not too shabby. We're right around that mid-range, um, which is not half bad at all. And then for the multi-score, as you can see, we got a 1483. Which is not terribly bad considering again the top of the you know the top of the line Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra came in at 3176. So again, roughly twice as much as what we have. Uh let's see, what are we looking at? We're more comparable to what? A Galaxy A71 and with their 1608 and our 1483. That's quite comparable. Uh and again, not bad, not bad at all. I'm actually pleasantly surprised at the results that this phone kicked out. Uh now Let's go ahead and see what this beautiful camera looks like. It's gonna allow the yeah, yeah, it's gonna give it all the necessary permissions. And for the normal camera modes, as you can see, we have what do we have? We have a 1x, we have 2x, and we have 5x. I mean, we have plenty of light here, so I'm trying to get as close as I possibly can. Um, okay, let's go ahead and do 1x. 2x, 5x. Okay, portrait mode now. Let's go ahead and take a portrait of our headphones. Eh. It's all right. Let's see, we have, we do have slow mode. Huh, okay, well, let's see how good that slow mo is. Well, we completely didn't capture that. Let's try that again. Okay, now let's see. Let's get a load of that slow bow. See how good that is. It wasn't terrible, so I'm you know that, that that's not bad at all actually. Um, I'm wondering how it's able to do that if it's supposedly only able to shoot thirty frames per second video at ten eighty p. So I'm not sure if there's some software um magic going on with that let me see yeah see 1080p at 30 frames per second okay so we did the portrait that wasn't very good that looked very very gimmicky to me honestly eh, it's all right i mean it's not it's not amazing but it's also not the best thing i've ever seen uh let's see more time lapse let's see an expert mode oh so you can actually turn up or down the ISO. Oh, and then the actual aperture. Oh, nice. So we can actually shut the lens pretty far. Uh, the white balance, nice. Actual aperture, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, okay. All right, so no more pro mode. Let's get out of pro mode. Oh, okay. 
this is awesome. Okay, finally, okay. And I should probably, you know, stick to this a little bit more as I've honestly been kind of lacking with my camera terminology. So this is amazing that they actually tell you what the controls do and they actually explain it. That looks like ISO is for sensitivity, S is for the shutter speed, WB is white balance, AMF is auto manual focus, EV is exposure compensation. That is amazing. I'm, I'm, I, I'm on board with this. Holy cow. And I'm, 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 I'm stuttering again. Holy crap. That's, that's good. I'm gonna have to like get a little more in depth on that. Um, and then obviously, oh, night mode. Let's go ahead and shut these lights off actually and see how good of a night mode this has, right? Oh, but it's just a picture. I mean, it's all right versus here. That's what the image captured. Um, or I guess we can shoot one from over there like that to see what you guys capture. Um, let's see. Oh, maybe I moved it too fast. I mean, eh. I mean, eh, it, it did better than what I thought it did. I mean, it's certainly more illuminated than when you guys can see me, you know, ahead, pointing ahead, but, uh, could be worse, could have definitely been worse. Uh, let's go ahead and take, finally take a look at the actual video and let's test out this phone's uh, video quality. So then this is what video looks and sounds like on the main camera of the OnePlus N200 5G. It looks to be a fairly fluid, fairly balanced camera. Um, it looks, Looks pretty good. I mean, let's go ahead and try to do some zooming in, some 2x and some 5x. Uh, okay, it looks a little bit grainy. I wish it didn't do that, but nonetheless, it does. All right, and then now for the selfie test. This is what our selfie camera looks like on the OnePlus N200 5G. And I am so sorry, OnePlus, but this camera looks like absolute dog garbage. I have really good lighting in here, and I, this, this, this kind of, I'm sorry, maybe, but again, I guess 5G is this thing's claim, um, but yeah, that, that selfie camera was just hot, hot garbage, I'm so sorry, um, yeah, it's really bad. Let's go ahead and do round number two. And then this is what video looks like on the selfie camera of the OnePlus N200 5G. It is really bad. It got a little bit better now that I was able to autofocus because just the first time was just absolute hot garbage. Um, but even then, I'm sorry, OnePlus. Your camera is not the best, especially not on this phone. Hopefully, I mean, the specs are really what are going to pull this phone through and um, help it shine. I, I mean, at least on paper, they, they perform well. Um, but again, that camera... <laughs> That camera is nothing to write home about. At least the selfie camera isn't. Let's go ahead and dive into uh, some game performance and see how well this phone does in actual real world test. It's one thing for the phone, you know, to claim all these great, uh, all these great specs and for the Geekbench test to come out amazing, you know. But let's go ahead and see how well this phone does. Uh, hi. <gasps> Whoa! Yo, I was definitely ready to say what good is having 90 frames per second if the game doesn't even support it, but the game totally does. Holy cow. And if you would like to see the full walkthrough of me playing Super Mega Champions, go ahead and click up here and enjoy the rest of the game. Yeah, I'm just I'm just amazingly blown away by this phone and the 90 hertz refresh rate that I had. Um, you guys already know, Please don't forget to subscribe. Go ahead and let me know in the comments if there are items you'd like for me to talk about, other topics you'd like for me to cover. And again, comment if you think this is gonna be a good phone for your gaming, for the kind of games that you use, especially with that really high 90 frames per second um, that it's able to handle games, that 90 hertz refresh rate for the screen. And again, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to comment so that you guys can be entered in the giveaway for this Alcatel Joy Tab 2. The moment I reach 750 subscribers, I will be giving away this Alcatel Joy Tab 2 tablet. Again, all you have to do is be sure to be subscribed and be sure, uh, make sure to comment 
if you were to use this phone and what kind of game you would use to replace it with. And as always, 